A pilot program at a South Auckland prison is being credited with helping Māori men reconnect with their culture and stamping out gang rivalries and jail tensions in the process. And there are plans to extend the program, which sees inmates come together for a two-hour Te Reo Māori lesson yeah, once a week, every week. Te Mano Kōtahi reporter, no matter who you are, you go to the lesson. Te Mano Kōtahi reporter John Boynton and our wonderful cameraman Nick Monroe went out to find out how prisoners are finding common ground learning Te Reo Māori. Inside Te Whare Manaki at the Auckland South Correctional Facility in Witi, a Te Reo Māori class is in session. Read the sentence, Ko Reo, Karahipi, Aho. So what is that? What is... And as one of the prisoners explains, this class is strictly a no-gang zone at the jail, which is home to more than 900 inmates. We leave all our colours out the door. You know, we don't bring it in the, the hui or the wainang or what have you. We just leave it all out there. And, and I suppose outside there too, you know, outside the door, there's still a lot of respect shown amongst everyone. Since September, seven students have taken a pilot Te Reo Māori programme based on Māori broadcaster Scotty Morrison's book, Māori Made Easy. The prisoners have different gang affiliations, but when they enter the Farinui and open their Māori dictionaries, those differences are put aside. We all feel the need to want to learn something, and it doesn't even cross our minds, you know, that um, there's rivalry in amongst us. We're just trying to learn together. Yeah, we're at the same level. So that'll be the best part about it, that we're here to learn our own culture. Chiefly language. Ing, if we put ing on the end, that's a suffix looking, walking. His talking, teacher, sleeping. Anne Gervin, is a volunteer from the prison reform group, the Howard League. She says it's taken time for the class to work together. It was quite a task to work so that they were all working together. And right from the start, I said I was not the teacher, I was not the tutor. It was a collaborative learning. Um, environment where we were all students and all learning together. Some students are fluent Te Reo Māori speakers while others are still at the beginning of their journey. However, Anne Gervin has been able to see how much they've improved in the last seven months. I'm so proud of what they've done. They have worked really hard um, and two hours is quite a long time when you are having to focus quite carefully on language and structure and um, vocabulary. Prison Director Mike Ingalls says the Te Reo program shows prisoners can look beyond their gang connections. For me everything we do in prison is based on respect and respecting each other. The other important thing is to make sure we have a zero tolerance approach to violence in any form and for me the men coming together whether it's in their house block or whether it's on the Te Reo program it's about treating each other with respect, making sure when you come into the, the furry, you come into the furry with respect, you make sure you treat each other uh, the same as we expect of our families in the community. And you can see how the programme will benefit inmates. And whether that's back to iwi, hapu or back into their whānau, the, 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 the strategies or the programmes or the interventions that they've taken part in here continue with them into the community to make sure there's less victims of crime and to make sure that they don't come back into custody. Currently, Māori men make up 45% of the prison population in New Zealand. Anne Gervin says she hopes her current crop of students will be able to teach the other prisoners keen to do the class in the future. Looking to run another course in May and they've all said they would like to join it. So that sort of is a bit heartening that they trust that um, we will be able to do something else. And once this prisoner walks out from life behind bars, he wants to take back what he's learnt to his whānau and continue his path to recovery. Because I didn't think our parents ever wanted us to see the inside of these places, but you yeah, just try and yeah, produce a better future for your children and yourself, your partner. The seven prisoners taking Reo lessons will graduate next month at a ceremony in front of their loved ones. Mote hōtaka o te ahi pōnei, ko John Boynton aho.